Academy Royale des Sciences and Philosophy welcomes René Descartes and Francis Bacon to debate on the topic of rationalism versus empiricism for the opportunity to join the Academy Royale. I am René Descartes from Stockholm, Sweden. I'm a French philosopher and mathematician. I'm also known as the father of modern philosophy. I question the accepted ideas of our world and express radical skepticism of everything. The only certainty is my own existence. I think, therefore, I am. I, Francis Bacon of London, England, have accomplished far more in the field of science of any other philosopher of my time, thus earning me the title of Father of Modern Science. My work on applying observation and experimentation in the field of science has led to the creation of the modern scientific method. Above all else, I know that knowledge is power. I believe rationalism is the best method to reach a conclusion as opposed to ridiculous ideas of a silly empiricist. Rationalism, a concrete ideology, uses general reason and knowledge to come to a specific conclusion. My method provides a better way as it, as it uses human knowledge, that which has no bounds and is ever-expanding. That's absurd! How can you expect to prove a scientific conclusion without first observing the phenomena yourself? Human reason must first be backed up by observation and experimentation before it may be regarded as fact. I will use my famous maxim of I think therefore I am to show how rationalism proves that even I am existing in this world. Your method of mathematics and experimentation can do little proof how you are on this world. As for my analytic geometry that I so ungraciously invented for the world, it relies on reasoning to prove such ideas as such as how a triangle has so many sides therefore it cannot be anything else than a triangle. Surely my own observations within the real world can prove my own existence. I can physically see my reflection in water and observe how my own being can interact with my surroundings. As in my most famous work, The Great Instauration, the inquisition and observation of nature is necessary for humans to advance in science. We cannot expect to look only at our own reasoning and thinking to achieve accurate results every time. For only in true inquiry to our natural world can we be certain of such claims. Are you making the claim that human knowledge is wrong and cannot be trusted? I think you are saying that humans are stupid since the knowledge they possess cannot be trusted or proven. Spending a good portion of my life, early life at the College of Poitiers, I feel I am the most qualified to say how wrong you are. The college I attended was the most prestigious college of philosophy in all of France and even all of Europe. My studies in France, Spain, Italy, England, and the Netherlands have found that rationalizing thoughts is the best and most efficient way to get to a conclusion. I too have dedicated many years of my life to the pursuit of education. I spent over three years at the University of Cambridge, known for its education in mathematics and science. My education did not end there as I went on to experience the real world for myself while studying abroad in France, Italy, and Spain. Humans are certainly not stupid, as even empiricism relies on our own unique ability to learn and draw conclusions for our environment. This is something that no other creature on earth can do. It is simply that our thinking alone cannot make something true. If I were to think that the sky is green, and spread this conclusion among others, would they not look up to the heavens to observe for themselves if this is true? Then the people would find when they look to the sky that the sky is not green, and this will be added to the bank of human knowledge, and thus we will grow to know the truth. In another one of my famous works, Discourse on Method, you will learn that scholastic philosophy and the method of empiricism are useless and no true philosopher has found them useful or even reliable to gain popularity. Now, in the case of human reason, we can comprehend the world is far better with our own knowledge and not rely on other methods to find out that the sky is not green. It would appear that we are running short on time. Each contestant will be allowed one final response. Through numerous arguments and examples, I have thoroughly explained my case for empiricism. It is a far more practical and useful ideology for application in the real, natural world. As humans, we naturally come to conclusions based on our observations and experiences. It is not through pure logic and deduction that we reach the truth, but rather through the scientific inquiry of our world. Experimentation must be done to fully prove our reasoned explanations. Without a doubt, I can say that empiricism is a far better methodology than rationalism. I give you living proof of rationalism and me being here talking to you in human form. Using knowledge I have gathered over the years, Rationalism is a far better choice because you are using knowledge that has been collected over the span of hundreds of years in order to be given to you. I do not want to doubt my ideas, therefore I use rationalism, as you should do. 
unless you would like to doubt yourself and be forced to observe even the most easily explained occurrences simply to prove that they are true. God-given ideas cannot be false, and therefore rationalism is the true and clear choice as you cannot deny God and his works on the human race.